morning all. I thought uh, I could show you uh, the introductory discount code screen today uh, at Chess24 before the band split. So you can get a whopping 15% off premium membership if you use the vouch code Kings Crusher. So worth doing and you can challenge all streamers including me. Uh, you just send a challenge 10 to 20 minutes beforehand. It goes on our challenges list then we can pick off the challenges. Okay, so uh, with that note, let's start a banter blitz session. Okay. It's pretty early in the morning today, 9.30 a.m. Okay, the sniper chest, hope it goes easy on me. <laughs> oh, I'm playing my kind of pet system here with uh, G6. I'm wondering if he's was thinking about Bishop F7 there, maybe. Mm, that's a little bit tricky. Maybe I can take it on my F6. Intriguing. <clears throat> It is dangerous. I think I'll shut, try and shut down that F file. I don't know if this is the least controversial. I'm hoping it's the least controversial of the options. Maybe in a temper there. Have I got knight takes e4? Okay, do I have time for c6 or do I need to play d5? I've played d5 here. That gives me knight d5 and I'm on his queen. Or or am I on this piece? Check and then knight takes d5. Oh, he's got bishop e3. Okay, I was wanting to get the queens off. Maybe there's bishop d4 and rook takes g5 coming up. Potentially. While these rooks are not there, I try, I try and castle queenside if I get a chance. Um, so bishop d2, check. Queen takes, check. King f8. Knight takes. Knight takes. Now, if he plays there, bishop d4. Okay, so here, can I just try and castle? Queen side. I've got this G file to work with. I hope. So while there's no rookie one, this looks a bit scary, but I thought lesser evil stuff. Sometimes you have to play lesser evil moves. <clears throat> it seems to be okay so far. Um, so I can put some pressure on his king. In fact, on this G file, maybe D4 is is good. Um, yeah, looking at G2 here. Ah, okay. Can I play Knight H5 on Queen G3? Okay. I've still got potentially d4 on the cards. <clears throat> uh, hit the bishop. Try and connect the rooks. The rooks not being connected is sometimes some sort of liability. Any d4, he's got knight e4. That's annoying here. And there's bishop f4, right? Um, okay, action, d4, can I take here, 
hitting the queen. Oh, he's got that. Um, it's a bit tricky, this. Have I got rook h8 coming up? Get my king off the back row. Suppress the pawns. I mean, he's got back row weakness there. Um, so, uh, g2 again. Oh, that's failing to rook bishop a6. Okay, he's protecting h3 for a moment. Oh, hang on. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, Fast and Furious. <clears throat> Thanks for the game. Right. The mechanic. Okay. Hi there. I've been researching my Knight C6 system a little bit, actually. Uh, so I'll play this. I had this idea, Queen F6, not here though, Knight D5. It's another variation. There's, I've got an interesting novelty prepared, <laughs> but in another variation. In checking with Stockfish for trying to improve my opening book in the tango just recently. Okay, so Knight E5. Actually, I'm on H4 here. What does he do about H4? This looks strange that h4 is a big target. Uh, so knight takes h4, is that too dangerous or can I play it? I think I can't see too much danger at the moment. Do I want him to play f4? I think I do. It's more weaknesses to play with, potentially. Maybe c6. And b5. c6. b5. Or is that is that an idea? C six and B five. Um, I'm hoping. I mean, I'm wondering. Oh, actually, if he cancels. I'm wondering, maybe he's thinking knight f2 if he cancels queenside. There's knight f2, actually. That's rather cheeky. Uh, and if e5, d takes, takes bishop g5, knight f4. Probably take one of the rooks. Okay, so here, I think this c6 looks good with the idea of queen b6. So I'm getting some coordination on b2, f2. Um... The possibility of knight e3, I guess. Uh, bishop e6 might be useful. Any f5 is weakening d5. Oh, let's just try and get great, great visibility. <laughs> oh, it's popped out the glasses. Okay. Pop them back in. Okay, a little bit. 
Um, so bishop e6 um, is is a possible, I think. Uh, okay, is whoa, 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 what is going on here? I don't want to take this pawn. It seems I'm going into something naughty. In fact, um, you, you know, if he castles knight f2 is enough, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I think he's given me enough squares to play with. I don't necessarily need the extra material. Uh, I, I just felt there was something wrong with that. A loose piece he could castle. So here, there's a penalty for castling anyway. So by not taking the pawn, I think there's a penalty here. Knight f2 if he castles. Now, on the other hand, okay, where is he castling? I'm going to play bishop e6 and castle queenside, potentially. I suppose one thing to bear in mind, knight e4 to d6. Uh, let's see, knight e4 to d6. If I play bishop e6, knight d6, bishop d6, ed, what if I castle there? I think that's still a reasonable pressure. By the way, if you're watching, please send in the challenges. We're a bit short on challenges because of the time in the morning. So all challenges, totally welcome. Yeah, it's very early in the morning, so um, that's one slight downside of this early time. <laughs> uh, so send in your challenges. Uh, that's all welcome. Whatever your rating. Uh, okay. Now, isn't a knight e3? Now, knight a4, knight takes f1. Unfortunately, he's on my rook. So if I took that, yeah, he's on my rook. So knight a4 seems to refute it. So I'm just going to do this. It's a shame. Yeah, sometimes that stuff. Um, Bishop b4 here looks as though knight e4. It runs into knight e4. Why can't I just get the queens off? Because I am a pawn up. There's less potential for total disasters, um, I think, in general. Uh, can I just get things off? I'm pulling up. Get a few things off. There's a pawn hanging there on b3, bishop a3. Um, yeah, I'm going to nick this pawn. Because knight b2, how would he get to the bishop? I can try and do a rescue plan for the bishop in terms of a4. Now, I've analysed games where this a2 is, is cheeky, and sometimes there is a rescue available. It really depends on the position. Uh, so there might be a rescue opportunity. On the other hand, okay, there's knight e3 here, actually. Because rook f7, e6. Rook d7, e6 look unpleasant. Let's just take this guy off. The bishop's being rescued in style. Simplifying. Restrict the knight. And start using the pawns, I think. Fork. All right, thanks for the game there. Okay. okay. Yeah, thanks. We're building up the challenges again nicely. All challenges, welcome. Whatever you're rating, give it a go. Give it a go. <clears throat> Talk Medita. So I'm going to do this standard kingside pawn storm. I love this stuff. I love the style of it. Just gaining space, gaining attack opportunity. Um, I don't know if knight g6, is it really a concern? Can I play knight h4 there if he plays h5? Because uh, I usually like... Whoa! Whoa! No! That's pawns in front of the king. No. Surely not. 
pawns in front of the king there being weakened. Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> clanging. I got my coffee and I got my water with some vitamin C, actually. You get these vitamin C dissolvables. A good fun. I don't know if any of you tried those. Um, I've been checking out a bit on vitamin C recently. Uh, oh, Mike G5. Mike G5. That's a big one. That's a big threat. to worry about but Queen G2 now I'm making a friend now in fact how does white parry Queen G2 aha uh -huh. some cost for that Okay, can I play for bishop g4? Or knight, knight g4 now? So I'm queen takes h2, threatens. <clears throat> queen takes h2, threatens. Yeah, I think it's pretty dangerous now. But I think it is sort of welcomed with the pawn moves. I think it's a general rule. I think one has to be suspicious about, um, be very careful about pawn moves around the king. Uh, okay, thanks then. Okay, let's go on to the next. Zalbard. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take that. So we have a sort of Vienna, no, a sort of King's Gambit style position. Now I'm hitting d4 here. Okay, um, I could be getting in trouble here. I don't like my pawns being dismantled. So I'm probably a little bit in trouble. Can I play for knight g6? Just to at least give some penalty to taking f4. Uh, I, I guess, yeah, I'm not sure I like the look of this. <laughs> uh, but why is he letting me play g4 now? He could have just played hg. Now g4 has some interest to it, I think. Or does it? No, maybe not. Uh Okay, I'll just take here and then h6, which is facilitated the bishops holding the rook. I thought h takes g was quite dangerous. Um, right, I think I like to blunt the f file give back the pawn try and blunt the bishop temporarily as well with this so i'm trying to blunt both the f file and the bishop can i cheekily in play for a threat here bishop h4 but actually it's more than that even if he moves out of the way i think bishop h4 is handy to disrupt white's king before white's king castles queen's side so I think that's okay, Bishop F6, rather than just trying to castle queenside. Let's disrupt the opponents a bit. From the luxury of castling. Knight F6 seems plausible. Although my bishops are loose. Okay, I'm getting to try and castle. I hope. With that loose bishop, there is an issue, say, queen h2. I wonder if knight h5 is a, it has to be played, something like that has to be played. 
Unless there's anything cleverer than that. I Bishop's not got too many squares. Okay, so knight h5. Bishop e1, g3, mate. Oh, he takes on h5. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Knight g3, now if you took, took, check, queen f8. Uh, I think knight g3 might be possible. Now g3 runs into bishop takes h5. So bishop e1, I could consider bishop takes, queen takes, g4 is dismantled. So I think I prefer knight g3 as a lesser evil move so bishop takes e1 it's how quick my pawns are getting dismantled on the other hand all right queen g okay so this check queen f8 right so that's going to be tricky isn't it how do i get out of this um queen 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 here i've got an idea of queen g6 but i need to protect the rook queen g6 king e7 on the check so rook d8 and mind you he's got knight b5 as well coming in mm. Do I need to play a6, rook d8? I wonder. Then queen g6, then king e7. Mind you, he's, he's getting mobilized. Okay, I think I need to be aware of rook h1 as well coming in. Okay, I need to stop rook h1, queen h7. I seem to be on a precipice. I hate to say it. What about bishop h4? I was meaning to stop rook h1, but what about bishop h4? Just to evict this queen and try and castle queen side. Rook g1, bishop h4. Well, I've still got a chance. It's actually, it looks rather good to try and trap this queen, actually. This was originally just against rook h1. Okay, I'm protecting h8, so let's take care. Castling finally. I've got the two pass pawns now. Have I got f4, f3? He's got knight d7, bishop g4. Whilst that pawns bungee okay so I I forced that to do something now rather than after f four which is a disaster. Because of this bishop takes g four business. Okay, I can grab another pawn and uh play bishop e three I think. I think if I force him to play e7, then rook e8 wins that pawn. Otherwise, now bishop d6, and I've got my pawns to push, potentially. So e7, rook e8. Okay, I'm hoping to get this pawn at least. Can I improve things, or am I losing both those pawns? g3, there's king f6. So this might be the time... Just to accept the pawn loss, It'll just be one pawn up only. Okay, there's a check, thankfully, otherwise, this is getting tricky. My opponent's putting good pressure on me throughout this game. Can I sort out my back row? Fix down this pawn. Now this bishop f3 is a pain. Uh, okay, I wonder where he's going with the rug. I, 
think I should keep the rook in uh, on the game on the board because there might be very limited winning chances in theory okay <laughs> gonna test this I think my king can come around anyway for a bit of um, pressure my bishops holding things is pawn on a4 is the Achilles hill I'd say C six playing for C six or not? Has he managed to find a fortress? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah okay okay well done on the fortress but yeah okay thanks very much <laughs> okay uh well played yeah uh, uh let's swiftly move on okay hmm Okay, Queen C8 and Bishop A3. I completely was winning that game though I think that's why I, I just felt okay great there's a fortress but I, I was winning the game earlier uh, so I think the clock is part of the game I think with more time I would have I, I think I would have converted that with more time uh, I, I think I just totally blew it at the end I do feel bad I do feel bad yeah okay <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have offered a draw. Okay, should I have offered? A, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a vote here. Should 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 I have offered a draw? I I don't know. I don't know. I thought I was winning earlier. I think it was a carryover for just trying to win whatever. Then I because I felt I was winning earlier. I I don't know. It was a tough game, a very tough game all the way through. Uh, I okay. Maybe I've been naughty. I've been naughty, haven't I? Okay, I'm I'm searching. I'm searching my my inner self. I was naughty. I was very naughty. Okay. Uh no, no. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. I think I was in shock as well that the fortress was quite straightforward with minimal time. Yeah, it's great. You know, I was, I was impressed, but in shock and maybe disappointed. Uh, a few emotions were floating around at the time. 
<sighs> but brilliantly played in the time pressure to get that fortress. Oh. King going to c6. Brilliant. Bishop blockading all the key squares. For a moment there I thought I had a, a plan with the a4 pawn. That was extinguished. So yeah, the end result is uh, it was a pure fortress. <laughs> Scissors. Oh, good. Okay. I can win an exchange with Bishop b5. If I take here, it's no guarantee of winning the exchange. Uh, maybe I just take the exchange. Oh, just give me a piece instead. Wow. Okay. That looks as though I can just be greedy and take another pawn. <clears throat> Rook D eight, Bishop C eight would hold B seven and D six. Okay, what's the threat? Okay, can I do this? There'll be 96 under some cases, I imagine. Um, I guess f6 is ruled out. I mean, it's ruled out anyway. Um, oh, there's knight a5. I can play knight takes a5 to hit the rook, basically. I like that rook h6 dissuades. Okay. Let's protect that for a moment officially to stop F6 ideas. Now, am I getting mated here if I take on A5? I hope not. Actually, you can just take that. Oh, I've just given the piece back. Muppets, I've just given the piece back. He could just take. No, yeah, what? Yeah, no, 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 that was on. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too early in the morning. I don't know what's going on here. What's going on here? Okay. Okay. Knight e7, bishop d6. What about knight e7 is possible to get the queen off the soft spot? Bishop d7. Can I do this to try and undermine e4? Because I don't like the idea of being mated, uh, particularly. Uh, okay, that's not happening. This h file. Looks like an attacking H file. Knight takes F five might be needed. Now in Queen G four, the Knight E three. I think this helps my cause. Don't think he's got enough attacking pieces. All right, thanks for the game. Cobra. Yeah, okay, knight takes a5 wasn't correct, um, I think. Hmm. Gents all high. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. Okay, another time. Arthur, hi there. Oh, thanks, Mictel, yeah. 
I played in um, an all titled bullet <laughs> um, and uh, did all right, yeah. Bullet chess online, I think a pre move strategy is important as well as this chess. <laughs> Personally, I, I was a bit more confident than that. I think also making the repertoire a bit more solid, I think might be helpful. Now the only reason I worked on my tango recently is one of my one of the students I coach uh, wanted to know a bit about tango. I was recommending it as a sort of weapon for bullet chess, actually. So I, d I did some uh, some some work on it with uh, stockfish. I found some interesting lines which um, didn't occur to me before. Okay, there's no knight g4, the bishop's covering g4. Can I play uh, queen, queen b6, or is that too grovelly? Huh. Uh, is it? Um, I think e5 I can take nine bishop hold the rook at the moment. Now knight takes e4 is on, yeah. Okay, so also e5 is on, so I'm I'm under pressure. How about knight d7 to e5? Knight d7 to e5. Um, I'm wondering, uh, knight e5. Uh, knight e5. Actually, you know what? G five. How about G five? If he plays Bishop E two, G five secures that knight. Okay, it's giving me a uh, pawn. Uh, I'm wondering if I can do better just chipping off Bishop takes rather than Knight takes. Is that any better? Uh, I, I, either. I mean, seem okay. I mean. Uh, This is more tension to it. I think I like the knight on e5, so it's got more tension in the position with the knight on e5. Uh, the knight's still on e5. Okay, so uh, still I'm feeling a bit restrained here. Uh, as long as he hasn't got bishop g4 for a moment. It's not building up, maybe, or something. Can I play f5? Does that help the cause? Simplify a bit. And so bishop c2 threatens. Can I play for knight f3 and h4? So, or e5 or h4 or e5 e5 or d5 e5 that, that, that looks good try and roll these pawns a bit forward rook d1 d4 try and okay i've given him a light square blockade in fact that might not have been entirely clever to give back a pawn which he doesn't take okay 
I think this C file needs addressing. Finally, rook c2 and knight h3. Or try and. I think king on d6 would help with the idea of rook f6. And then knight h3. So bishop c4, king d6. With the idea of knight h3 coming in. Uh, okay, so I can play rook f2 and knight h2. Knight h3, I mean. Get this pawn. And then knight e4 is on g3. So I'm playing knight e4, knight g3, h4, h3. I'm playing here for rook h1, it's France. Face the game, Arthur. Okay. Um, Gastro. Okay. <clears throat> One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants. Five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. Okay, another time, Astro. Okay, pin the con. Can I play this? Whilst there's no knight before, this knight might have to go back. So knight takes, the knight before is annoying if the bishop wasn't on b4. This is a bit of a luxury if I can play knight g2, I think, to sort of maybe later play for f4 without the knight blocking the f pawn. Another aspect, I think, if the c file opens, I've got pressure on c7 later. Right, so let's see how. I can probably can I probably afford casting and then maybe d3 after I've seen the d3 mechanism in reverse there was this game published in the magazine I think Sad of playing black and the Sicilian he played this temporary thing and played knight f something the equivalent of this knight f4 takes d3 I seem to remember that idea uh, so sometimes this is good just to sort of um, break free a bit. This kind of temporary pawn sack. Um, okay, it's it's a bit long winded though. I have to play knight takes d3 now because he was on c4. Okay, I'm hoping I'm not in tactical trouble just yet. I can play knight c3, liberating his queen is on his, on the rook. I play this and then knight takes d3 and then bishop b2. About the hassle of the queen, look at my rook. He's untangling, he play for bishop g4 later. If he plays bishop back and then d whatever, okay. Finally, am I going to get to play this or he plays d5 now, trying to interrupt, knight takes d3. I finally get it. So I've seen this idea reverse, basically, this temporary pawn sack um, somewhere um, in a magazine years back. OK, uh, somehow certain games in magazines or whatever on TV have a big 
for some reason the last thing impression on me uh so i've weakened the dark squares though how about king h1 king h1 hang on d5 might be annoying d5 is a concern try and stop d5 the suede d5 is d5 going to happen anyway how about king h1 knight a4 there's b5 cb cb knight c3 still got a reinforced d5 square king h1 knight a4 you take d5 there cd cd ed no, not ED. Bishop takes D3. That's his point of D5. That pin is nasty at the moment. That bishop on G6. So let's imagine King H1. So why would I be playing Knight A4 anyway? King H1, Knight E2 to F4 to try and lock down D5. Let's put. I'll show you that on the board. Knight E2 to F4 to sort of get off the dangerous diagonal, and then Knight E2 to F4 to try and lock down against D5. If we look at D5 here. CD CD ninety five seems sufficient at the moment, but this, this is a dangerous diagonal. I think I could start the king in bed. Um, anything for knight e two here, or just unpinning? What about just unpinning? Queen going somewhere. Queen e three looks at a seven. Let's have a look at d five there. CD CD e five. E5 might be possible. I don't think that's D4, Rook D4, Bishop C5. Hang on, any E5 I'm on EF for Queen takes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, queen E3, D5. CD, CD, E5, D4. Is he, is he really going to do this, D5 here? I am curious. What about just Bishop C5? Okay, he does d5. Okay, he doesn't do d5. I just need to unpin somewhere. I'm, I'm going here to unpin against this bishop. Maybe there's a possibility. Uh, I doubt it though. Cd knight a4. Nope, nope, nope. Knight a4 is more more handy here on on the bishop on c5. So d5 is still a big concern. Let's imagine d5. Knight a4, now I'm in another pin. Can I unpin here? I wouldn't mind taking with the queen actually on g7. That takes the sting out of d5. Tactical, just take on d5 with queen g7 there. So can I just build up on d6? No. Let's imagine knight d7 to e5. So d5, cd, I just take. There's rook d5 and queen g7. Now let's imagine rook c8, queen d4. Okay, can I take and then bishop f6? Is that a clear pawn? Is there anything better to do? Uh, it looks like a clear pawn. Well, reasonably clear pawn, but he's got rooks on the 7th coming in. Play rook d2 after. He's got rook d3, rook d3, rook d1, rook d5. Uh, what if I played rook f2 instead? Rook d3, rook d2. Okay, I, I'll, I'll maybe play it like this. Rook f2, rook d3, rook d2, or fd2. Oh, I'm just losing that pawn, okay. This is a bit silly then. I'm going to end up being pawns down. Oh, let's not lose all the pawns. All right, is that anything with his fractured structure? We just end up losing all the pawns here. I got my D pawn to play with. Any h3, there's uh, there isn't rook g3 because of rook a4. I'm 
I can't play this because of the back row. Can I play for King H2 now? Right. Rook E4, Rook D5. Okay. If I got rid of his bishop with bishop h3, stop this guy. Um, I'm just giving him two connected pass pawns, basically. That's nice. It's the clock advantage versus the two connected pass pawns. What do I do with this position? His king might be a problem. We're okay. Am I imagining this? I, I don't think so, actually. His king might not be a problem. Oh, I'm in big trouble. I'm a lunatic trying to play for a win there. I'm an absolute loon. Okay. <laughs> I had no right to play for a win. Uh, okay, lucky to draw that after. Okay. I, I thought his king might be in trouble. <laughs> uh, it's like a dare. I know it's like some sort of... I know I like the draw offer, but he was winning. He didn't need the draw offer. Um, push for the win. Push for the win. Come on. You only live once or something, maybe. <laughs> Uh, wasted time with draw offers. Come on, two connected past pawns. It's clearly winning. In fact, that's a, I shouldn't do pre move that. <sighs> F four, <clears throat> F four, try and roll down the king side. G4, F4, Knight H4. Of Queen H5, Queen G5. So F4 and um, <clears throat> F4 and okay, F4 looks dangerous.
Uh, H5, there's knight f3. And uh, I'll try it anyway. Knight f3. Oh, yeah. So I've just left an h5 pawn, which is now weak. Is that the case? And if I play f3, he's got the g5 square. Uh, not, I can try king h6. King h6. I like king h6. That's crazy, but f3 is a downside. King h6 is a lesser one. Oh, he's giving me a knight. What's this? Get my, get my king off. This, oh, this diagonal is the pain, isn't it? And then there's knight g5 after. That's nice. Can I get this bishop off this diagonal without losing my queen? So knight a5, uh, for example. And then I can play d5 after to kick this knight off. e4. So bishop c2, d5. Because if I play this, yeah, it takes the knight g5. So d5 finally, give me a bit of relief getting this knight away from e4. Which means maybe f3 is possible because knight f3, bishop g4. Again, there's knight g5. Well, there's queen g5, and if he took, then bishop d1. So I could play f3 here. It's got d4, e4. And there's knight f3 there, bishop g4. Knight f3, bishop g4. I, I still come around to this idea that bishop g4 is possible. Knight g5, queen g5. All right, so if I if I doubled um, the rooks, d4, e4. Okay, he's got rook h1, king g8. This one. I think knight c4 could be handy. Actually, what's wrong with rook f2? Rook f2 is now threatened. So, again, knight e3 and rook f2 now. There's a knight e3, rook f2. Play c6 as well, just to stop bishop d5. Protect. I've got g4. It's amazing that. Uh, so a quick look at that. G four, let's rook f three. And so king of seven, king e six. Um rook f six, rook f five. Rook g6. How about rook g6? Is that possible? Now he's got bishop d5. I feel like under pressure. Let's kick this and play king e6. King f5. Okay. King e6 here. Maybe rook f3 is on g3. So his d5 is not yet there. If I play rook e3, I'm weakening d4. I could take here and then rook e3, I think. I think bishop d4 and then bishop e5, check. Okay, or not. Can play this for a moment. And then rook d4. I'm playing the check of the knight f5. Oh, 
was Rook G3. Is that handy or anything? All right, thanks for the game, Santi. Okay, interesting. Olaf. Snarf. Sometimes it's okay. C5 here is it too dangerous? Maybe Bishop B7. If he plays B4, A5 with his Kingston and center, that might be possible. Oh, I think C5 straight off the bat. Actually, if he took okay, C4 here, I just want the Bishop to be active, so I don't care about necessarily CD. Play bishop f3 and sort of that bishop. Is there knight b6 to d5 after? So bishop f3, I take knight b6 to d5. And bishop f3 looks as though well, it's designed for that, really. Okay, so knight b6 to d5. Alright, so queen c7. Knight d5 or rook d8, queen b7, knight d5. Queen b7 might have something going for it. Knight d5 might have a5, b4 later. Queen b7, has that got something going for it? So knight bd5. Or is there nothing there? Okay. Um Yeah, okay, threatening ninety three. So if I took on C three it's got another weakness. I also got ninety four. Nice blockade strategy. I'm on C3, there's F6, I'm trying to win a piece, perhaps. Oh, so F6, what does he do? I think I'm winning this queen g6, knight h6, king g7, rook f7, queen f7. I'm still winning this queen. Okay, if his queen moves here, maybe I'll take on e3 and take on h6 to stop rook f7. Let's imagine Queen F three. Bishop takes H six. Um so Rook F seven, Queen takes F seven. Queen G four. As I mentioned, Bishop takes E three check first. Bishop takes H six.
Well, knight f6 or knight c3? Knight f6 is with tempo. Um, rook f8, is that simplifying? There's already like two pieces up. Maybe I can afford rook f8. Sort of simplifies. I mean, a piece up still. Mm, might be a bit dumb actually. Okay. Oh, there's check and queen f4 there on rook e6. I'm also a pawn up. It seems so. Let's imagine rookie six. I play the check and check. I'm a bishop up. All right, okay. There's bishop d2, though. Hang on, bishop d2. Try one c3. So queen f6, just the guy, guard, guard, um, diagonal. Check, okay, I can win a6. Can I, oh, I can threaten queen f1 if I play bishop e5. Right, thanks for the game, Olaf. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, Slav sometimes it seems pretty solid. Um <sighs> Okay. Uh McTel, hi there. I think I don't want to. Oh, I know I'm releasing tension here. It's not a move I usually do, but I have bad memories. I think it was last week, was it? Where I lost the C4. <laughs> and then, horrible, lost all my pawns. Probably an idea is bishop instead for 97e5 break. With that structure fixed like that, e5 is often weakening d4. If I have to play e3, I get an exploitable pawn on d4 sometimes. So that plan of playing for e5, e, e, ed, I think I've seen before. I think Magnus Carlsen does that sort of thing when when opponents play c5. Um, okay. Hmm. What about E four? Is that any good? E four. Am I just giving the D five square up? Is E four at all convincing? It's got swings and round arts, maybe. I give up d5 on the other hand it gives me something surely I'm not sure what mm. 
Mm. It's the pain, isn't it? Queen d2, doesn't it, right? A, B, A, B, rook a2, doesn't it, right? So what do I have here? There is knight g5, for example. Knight g5, maybe there is something, knight g5. A, B, as a4 is an idea, just to slow down the queen side disaster. I think I'll play it like that, creatively. Uh, C5 is held for a moment as well. Okay, there's no A4, right? Okay, I'm just giving out a pawn for nothing now. But he's blunted his own bishop, okay. Knight E4 is possible for Knight D6, I've just realised. Now, why didn't he play that? Okay. Interesting. Bishop f3, now king g2, rook h1. I do have coffee here. I feel sleepy at the moment. <laughs> uh, uh, rook h1. Do I take away the bad bishop or leave it? It seems extremely dumb to take that bishop, actually, fundamentally. Why don't I just play knight e4 instead for a moment? Keep some tension going. Double the rooks. On the H file, H G, Rook H four, Rook H one, any Bishop D four, Bishop D four, Rook D four. There's Knight F six to win D four. So I double the rooks, waiting for Bishop D four, or some H file disaster. Hang on, there's Knight F five. It's not happening, is it? Knight F five. So I'm losing a centre pawn with tempo. That wasn't clever. I just lose a centre pawn rather than everything, rather than the exchange. Rook h1 or not. Yeah, I think this minimised the losses. Knight d4, bishop d4, bishop d4. It's almost an h8 issue. Rook d4, rook d4, queen c3, rook d8, knight d6. If the rook ever moved, then there's like rook h8. d5 here, bishop takes b2, d6. If you played c or anything, bishop g7, king g7, queen b2. So do I play d5 now? Probably I play d5 now. So on bishop takes b2, d6. On anything takes d5, bishop g7, and maybe something's happening on dark squares. Not knight d6, rook d6, because of that pin. What about queen b2 on king g7? Then knight d6 or knight f6. What about d4 here? d4 here. g4? Is g4 possible? I've actually opened up his bishop as well. Is g4 actually possible there? On d4. Okay. Knight g5? Okay, on knight d6, there's queen e5, there's f6, there's cd. Maybe this is possible for queen e5. Before his pawns swamp me in the center. Okay, 
Okay, can I play anything? Queen d4, blockade. That bishop is now released. <laughs> okay, we. Oh. I got I think I've got uh, Bishop d5 I'm looking at this Queen a7 isn't there mm, or maybe not as Rook d7 Bishop takes b7 Queen takes d1 Bishop c6 check King moves somewhere have I got anything simpler than that? What about just Queen A7 straight off the bat? Change the move order. Let's get my pawn back. Oh, Rook A7. Thanks the game, McTell. Yeah, interesting. Uh uh this though. So let's see. D4 here. This looks like a gambit, uh, which is interesting. I'm trying to open up the bishop, use the D5 square, try and exploit the weaknesses. D takes C looks as though it might be plausible here, rather than D5, especially. Knight E5. If I castled, I think this looks plausible for Knight F4 and Queen D6. Knight e5, I cancel. Knight f4 or knight d5. Knight f4, knight d5. D five looks interesting. Do I play it here? B three or F three? Oh, there's a lot of interesting choices. What about bishop d2 to c3 now that I've vacated c3 and that parking space is available? Bishop d2 to c3 looks fairly pleasant visually at least. This bishop doesn't look like a great piece in the position at the moment. Bishop d2 to c3. Bishop d2 to c3 looks interesting. I can get rid of that dark square bishop as well. Some dark square weaknesses. Uh, so let's imagine. Okay, what, is, what does he do here? Does he play knight c4? What if I play queen b3 first, then bishop d2? Just in case knight c4 has got something going for it, he's got knight f3 as well. That could be a weak pawn though. 
I need g5. There's knight on h5. I'm going to go with this plan. Okay, let's see. Knight f3. I think I take, and he's got his pawn weakness. Bishop d2 c3. Very attractive. g5. Knight h5. My concern about bishop d2 was knight c4. Um, okay, knight h5. I thought was was okay here. Isn't there also an idea of c6 sometimes? Uh, no, it's not. The diagonal's not doing that much. The knight could be a problem, but there's always knight e7. He could take there, then then queen e8. I'm just thinking if his bishop goes back, he's got queen e8 potentially on on h5. He would take there first, then queen e8. I could play g4 to give g3. But here I, I just take on g7. Surely he's given me this fuel for the dark squares. There's also knight c7 in this position. Is this some sort of hack attack? Queen h5, knight f3, a form pawn hack attack. I think I'd rather, against this guy, eliminate the um, knight on e5 or pin it. Knight c7, too good to be true. Check takes is mating with a form pawn, I imagine. I could try and work it out. I would save things there. King King h1, Queen h3, Rook g1. This looks. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt on this. I want to play for bishop c3, pinning the knight. So this is more of a king safety move than, than a material winning move. But there's also, it's not just about my king safety, it's about his. If I've got the bishop on c3, then, um, well, he's going to have to spend time with e5 then. E5 is already kind of undermined. He can't support E5 that easily. So having a bishop on C3 seems a dream come true. It's, it's like bishop without a counterpart. This is the greedy move. This is the more sort of try and take control of the position move, I think. But let's imagine knight F3, bishop F3, EF, bishop C3. Where does a king go? I think bishop c3 is pretty strong here. Has he got time for knight f3? Bishop f3, bishop c3. The king's going to have to go somewhere. Uh, maybe d6 and queen d5 hits. Um, okay, he's coming in for queen h5. There's queen c4, queen h5, queen d4 friends, queen g7. Oh, there's h4 there. Let me just h4. So there's two possibilities. h4 might be... Well, it's giving me this on the plate now with tempo. I think h4 takes some of the sting out. Surely hg now, the dark squares are quite nice. I don't want to lose d5, maybe rook ad1. Let's not lose d5. Right. Is the form pawn a major thing here for him? This is bishop g7, hold on. Little tactic. Uh, thanks for the game, I just know. Uh, let's have a look what the computer thought of that. If I should have gone for the rook. Uh, that was more of a king safety decision. Bishop d2. Very tempting to try and win the rook. Materially, anyway. Uh, 
This seems positional suicide in general, but with the idea of Knight F3, it's a form pawn coming in for the kill quite quickly. All right, the, the engine actually prefers Knight C7. Let's have a quick rundown on Queen H5. Now, I imagine I thought this was really risky. The engine's giving it as white as winning, but doesn't. It's a form pawn, I believe in. I'll, t I'll tell you one issue with a form pawn, right? King here. Just imagine King here. Look at this tactic. Bang. There's Queen H2. I don't know if you guys have seen this form pawn tactic. That's the danger of the form pawn, right? Um, but also, so what do I do? If I play Queen D1, doesn't he play G4? Oh, there's H4. Just in time. Okay. It plays Brook F6. Okay, the engine plays it with white. But this looks pretty scary. The engine plays it with white. <laughs> it just knows no fear. It just knows no fear. So I'm not an engine. What I played was, I thought, dangerous for him more than me. Because I was already material up anyway. If you're already material up, this is Bishop's also without a counterpart. White's winning this anyway. Uh, but he's got some problems now on the dark squares as well. So it's not all about his attack here because I'm threatening Queen G7. I think I'm taking the sting out of the form pawn here. So I think it was a reasonable practical decision. Okay, thanks for the game. Um, does anyone want a quick three minute game? Because uh, it's like nearly 11 o'clock. Three minute game. Let's go over schedule. Anyone? Because uh, there's only like three minutes left. Or a bullet game. Three minute or bullet. Anyone? Can I tempt anyone? Uh. Or not? Okay, I'll I'll play this. Then, shall I just one more? Okay, I'll play I'll play this game then. Okay, I might be going over schedule. One elephant, two elephants. Okay, we got game. Okay. Hmm. Right, so this tango is one of my favourites, generally. E5 square. Okay, I am going to get the E5 square. This sometimes happens, yep. Yeah. Knight G4 is uh, worth looking at. HG, Queen H4, Knight H3, Bishop G4, Queen E1. Looks a bit unsound, really. This idea of the knight going back to H3 is a downer. Uh, G6 here? Is that, is that plausible? Oh, why don't I just. No, I couldn't take that because the mate, yeah, I'll get mates. But the bishop is is attacked, okay, which means if he goes to protect his bishop, I'll just go in for queen h4 now. 
Uh, rook f4, queen g3 is again on d3. Let's imagine bishop f4. Is that bishop g4? Okay, so what I'm saying here, uh, rook f4, there's queen g3, which is on d3. It's no big deal necessarily, but bishop c2, maybe actually, uh, maybe it is a big deal. Bishop takes h3. Um, bishop f4, on the other hand, so look at bishop takes h3 for a moment. So we took bishop g4 check, winning the queen, takes, takes, now here bishop takes h3 looks good. Aren't I winning e3 at minimum? There's rook f4, hang on, there's rook f4, and there's bishop g4 check. Okay, I can't see necessarily if that's a problem or not. Rook f4, bishop g4 check. This check, I'm winning e3. Hmm. I'm going to take on e2 and take on d3. There's also taking on e3 first with check, then take on d3. A couple of the bishops disappear quite quickly. All right, thanks for the game, Castro. Uh, okay. Oh, he's my twin, yeah. <laughs> he was, he's using my avatar, I just noticed. <laughs> I only just noticed, I wasn't looking. All right, thanks. All right. Uh, the guy that had the fortress draw, congratulations especially to him. Uh, I was mean, I was mean maybe not to uh, offer a draw at that moment of the fortress okay apart from that uh, I was lucky in one where I, I played on in lost position so yeah a bit of luck today thanks for the games uh, I hope you enjoy it one fun ten boy I hope you have a good rest of Sunday and um, check out Leela on T-Set that's good the big computer chess battle of the century okay see you later then see you next week thanks very much cheers then